a senior lecturer and the head of the music unit in the Philip Sherlock Center. I taught um, a first year course which dealt with musical literacy and appreciation and music history and so on. Um, I also taught an education course about using music as a catalyst learning experience for education students. And there was um, Barbara Requa who taught the dance component, so we, we worked a bit together and so on. Um, and the second year program dealt with musics of the Caribbean, so you looked at the cultures that had um, affected the development of Caribbean music mm -hmm. and so on. Um, what was interesting for me is that we would use recorded examples, but there were things that we couldn't find recordings for. So very often I'd find myself having to go to the piano and to play a bit of Beethoven or a piece of Rachmaninoff or something like that, but I couldn't find they recorded music and, you know, if we wanted to look at the score and, and that kind of thing. Um, and in the traditional music cycle then, every so often, do a practical session with them where I teach them the dance moves and then play the um, traditional rhythms on the drums and so on. So that was very interesting. Again, once again, you had a hand in glove thing, one thing informing, informing the other. I also was responsible for liaising with um, the University um, Panorhythm Steel Orchestra and the University Singers and the, the University Chorale. Um, Mr. Noel Dexter was there in charge of the singers and the chorale and so on, but um, there's an interesting thing at the university where you can get three credits for participating in participating actively and also helping with administration and so on of, of these groups. So then I would have to um, write up the forms and so on so that they could, could get the, the credits. Because nowadays you find that when people are going to be employed, they like to make sure that they are grounded. You would find that so many business places these days have dance groups, have um, choirs, that kind of thing. So they want to bring people into the organization who can contribute in areas other than just the matter of the business itself. So um, there's a lot of, of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And also <laughs> had to liaise with the, the JCDC, with the Tourism Product Development Company, that sort, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, because when I was employed, I was told whatever activities that I had, I could bring them in to the, the whole thing. So um, there, there was that um, liaising with, with right. various groups across the island right. and so on. And I also mm -hmm. examined for the Joint Board of Teacher Education in the training colleges okay. and so on. And every so often did seminars at Northern Caribbean University and sat on the, the um, University Council of Jamaica because we had to develop standards um, for tertiary institutions and so on. So Wonderful career. I'm sure you, you're, you know, you remember it well. <laughs> yes, yes. There, there are little bits and pieces that, that, I, that I have mentioned, like work doing stuff for the church, mm -hmm. you know, composing um, canticles and, and so on, and hymns for, for the church, and playing for various things. The last one that I was helping with was a church up in Cavaliers in the mountain, which was part of the St. Jude's Cure. So it's, it's continuing through my life. I started when I was 15, being a Sunday school teacher at St. Luke's, you know, and, and playing yes. for, for the yeah. start of the yeah. Sunday school, the hymns and that kind of thing. So I've always been connect, connected quietly to the church. To the church. Yes. Wonderful. We'll take a break now and then come back for some fun things about Marjorie Wiley. Ah. <laughs>